Hi, and welcome to Path of Exile. I wanted to make a quick video on how to download and install a item filter, because a uh, loot filter, because this is it's going to get out of hand as you keep on hunting and going up in levels. There's too much loot on the ground. And just to give you an idea, right now we go into options, we go into game, and right I have the def default one on. I'm doing a uh, play along series, so I don't have anything installed right now. None would make it like that. That's even worse. Default comes with the game, and that's better, but there's an even better way, and I'm going to show you that right now. We're going to go over to filterblade.xyz, and this is ran by Neversync. That's his name. He's part of the community. He's been doing this for years. He even live streams making these right before the league comes out. He puts a ton of work into this, and it's really, really amazing. Um, you can actually do it where you sign in with your account, and it will sync up. But we're going to do it the other way, where it just downloads the file. So let's do that. By default, it's going to come up um, in this all these settings. And what you want to make sure you're on is the softcore, if you're playing softcore, trade league. And this is where the, the restrictions and how strict it uh, becomes. You can play very strict, and that'll restrict the, the drops to just better items. But when you're first starting out, we're just going to do soft. Maybe even regular, but we're going to try out soft. And then we're going to say, save and export. Continue without, um, without saving. Okay, so it's on soft. We're going to select save and export. And we're going to say continue without saving. We're not going to sign in and link it. So we're going to do that. We're going to say download. It's right up here. And I think we could go right in here. We want to open this up like that. Then we're going to right click on here. And you could do the uh, show, show more options. And it will say there's a copy on option. Or you could just do this. Copy right here. And the next step, we'll close this back down. We're back in the game. We're going to press Escape, Options, and we're going to open up the folder. We're going to right click in here, and we're going to select Paste, or you could uh, Control V. We're just going to paste it in, or show more options and select Paste. Cool. We're going to close it back down, and we're going to refresh this thing, and then we're going to say Affliction Filter Blade right here. That was the name of it. You could rename it, but this is going to be Filter Blade. We click that, and now it start, it's going to start making noises, and this is what it's going to limit. So if we switch back to default, all this junk is on the ground. We don't want this stuff. Filter blade, soft. And you just put save, and it's done. The uh, One other thing you could do is rename this. So let's go to here, uh, show more options for a rename, and we're going to name this. It's got to be dot filter, um, ruthless filter, if you're playing ruthless mode. We'll say affliction, soft. Close that down. We'll push refresh. That's gone now. And then affliction soft. Now we know which one we can switch to. And then as you progress, you'll go download the one that says regular and then strict and very strict. But this is going to be a lot more fun now. And it makes the game a lot more enjoyable. So now we can just, and it makes them bigger. We can pick up stuff easier. Really cool. I hope this helps and have a good one. It's pretty cool. And thank you to Neversync. He does a ton of work, and it's amazing work that he does. It really is. And you can even alter your files uh, manually. That's a whole other <laughs> another thing. But I actually end up doing that in uh, the very strict mode to make it even more interesting. Have a good one. Enjoy. And now when you're hunting, it'll, it won't drop all of that other stuff. Um, it'll make it a lot smoother. Let's see if we can quickly go find a bunch of creatures to... Make an example out of that. There, chromatic orb it highlights it.
And if you really want to see the things that are on the ground, there's a bunch of stuff. Now, this might be too soft of a restriction. I, I might go up to regular mode if I don't really want to see this. That's okay for now. But if you do hold down Alt key, one second. And here's the example. The normal filter, our, our soft filter shows this. But if you want to really see what's really on the ground, you can still hold Alt. And that's all the stuff that got hit. And it's just really amazing. I really hope this helps. It's pretty cool. There, it hit all that stuff. And it showed us that. Pretty cool. Have a good one, and enjoy. Ah, and a quick side note. If you open up that .xy, or that .filter file, all it is is a text file. You're not going to be downloading anything weird. It's just a text file that gets parsed by... Path of Exile, the, the, the engine. So it's it's safe to download. It's a text file. <laughs> you could literally rename it .txt, open it with Notepad, and that that's what it is. It's nothing nefarious. Have a good one, and enjoy, guys.